हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द न्यू वीडियो एंड टूडे वी विल डिस्कस ई बी एस स्टोरेज सर्विस इन ए डब्ल्यू एस सो या लेट्स गो सो ई बी एस वॉल्यूम इज इलास्टिक ब्लॉक स्टोरेज हेयर अवर डेटा इज स्टोर्ड इन इवनली साइज ब्लॉक्स एंड टू आइडेंटिफाई ईच ब्लॉक्स वी देर इज इंडेक्सिंग गिवन सो बेसिकली ई बी एस वॉल्यूम आर ऑफ टू टाइप जर्नल पर्पज एंड इनपुट आउटपुट इंटेंसिव ऑपरेशन आई ओ एंड जी पी सो देर विल बी जी पी टू जी पी थ्री आई ओ वन आई ओ टू सो अकॉर्डिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू आर रिक्वायरमेंट्स वी कैन चूज द टाइप ऑफ ई बी एस आर ई बी एस यू विल नोटिस वेन यू आर क्रिएटिंग द ई सी टू इंस्टेंस इन ए डब्ल्यू एस देन ऑल्सो वी अटैच अ रूट वॉल्यूम टू आर instance that is also an ebs root volume is something where our os is stored but we can also attach additional ebs to our ec2 instance but there are few points to be noted that we cannot attach e one ebs to multiple ec2 instance and if and our ec2 instance and ebs should be in the same region if we have to uh, attach like if we have to attach the ec2 ebs volume which is in different region that cannot be done so these are few points that should be kept in mind max size is 16 tb then the data which is stored inside ebs will not get deleted if ec2 is rebooted or stopped that is why it is called as persistent storage if your uh, ec2 instance is terminated then it might get uh, lost but if it is rebooted or stopped our data doesn't goes so basically when uh, if we have to attach a ec ebs volume to an ec2 instance which is in different region we create a snapshot then from that snapshot we will create a volume and then we will attach that ec2 instance uh, ebs into that ec2 instance and ebs should be created in that particular region only so that's why these pointers should be kept in mind so for creating ebs volume once we have created the ec2 instance when we go inside that ec2 instance and uh, run this command lsblk which is used for listing the block ebs storage or volumes which are attached to our ec2 instance we will see that the uh, ec2 uh, the ebs volume uh uh there is one root volume already attached but if we want to attach the additional ebs volume in aws ui we can go create an ebs volume we can attach this can be done in uh, this is done through ui only we can attach e, uh, that ebs volume to that ec2 instance then again if we will do lsblk we will see that one more uh, ebs volume is there present there then we have to create a file system where this uh, like where this volume will write the data will store the data that we are create uh, that we have to store so for that we have this command sudo mkfs for creating the file system and we have to give the path of our ebs volume after that file uh, after that file system is created we have to this is for checking the file system uh, if it is created or not then we have to mount our uh, our uh, volume like our volume to this uh, file system that we have created then we will mount it and then if we will do df hyphen h we'll see that our volume is mounted on that particular file system that we have created okay so this is how we can create additional ebs volume and attach uh, it to ec2 instance and then we can mount the file system to that volume which is created now uh, for snapshot that we take suppose there is an ebs volume which is attached to one ec2 instance then from ui only we'll take a snapshot of that ebs volume 
and whatever like at the point whatever files are there in ebs volume that those are stored will be inside this snapshot because we have taken snapshot at that moment those will be already there in the snapshot from the snapshot uh, we will create a volume and then we'll attach this volume to ec2 instance but once this uh, snapshot is created and attached to ec2 instance now if now if we'll create more files we'll store more files inside the cbs volume those will not get copied to this because after the snapshot snapshot was till that moment after the snapshot is taken after that the tasks which are being done on this uh, vol uh, this original one volume those will not be uh, copied in this uh, snapshot so from now onwards these this and this will act separately after the snapshot is taken so this is regarding the ebs volume and i hope that all the three important storage service in aws is clear to all of you please let me know in the comment section if you are still finding any uh, issues or any queries understanding this please let me know so yeah that's all for today's video and uh, we will try to bring more interview question preparation series uh, from now onwards so yeah stay tuned bye